Hello, this is Andre Robles here at Choice Lithographics, and in this video, we'll demonstrate how to treat a file for spot UV, in this case, a spot gloss and spot dull varnish. First thing you want to do is create these colors in your color palette. Create a new swatch and call it spot UV. Make it a spot color and give it a color and hit OK. Make another spot color for your spot DV, dull varnish, and select OK. Next you want to make separate layers for the spot dull varnish and the spot gloss varnish, your spot UV and your spot DV. Now we're going to make the illustration of the mouse with the knives a gloss spot color and the small square insets we're going to make a dull spot varnish. Please note the finishing company requires an enlargement of your spot images of as much as 1 16th of an inch. This is why the image is much larger as it will tend to shrink depending on the stock being used. I'll go into separations here so you can see more clearly. I'll turn off the black panel. You can see the enlargement here of 1 16th of an inch around the actual image for possible shrinkage. It's very simple to make the spot gloss here as our finishing company requires a vector file. Open your file in Photoshop, choose the clipping path around it, go to File, Export to Pass, Export Pass to Illustrator, and choose the particular path you want. Select OK and save your file. Open up your file in Illustrator, and here's your file. The color has been changed to the spot UV spot color that you'll be using in InDesign. Making sure that's set to overprint, then place it in your InDesign file. That's how we treat a file for spot UV. Thank you very much.